Hey y'all, so it's Shayla Nice, and this video was not planned at all. I think I'm just going to just upload it as it is, but I definitely want to do a slight shift on my YouTube channel and create content that is based on where I am in my life right now. So for the past year, at the very beginning of the pandemic in 2020, I had more time to sit and reflect on where I feel like I can go, um, how, how far my dreams and passions can go. I had like a lot of aha moments. And so I think I want to create a series on this YouTube channel where I take you on a journey of becoming an entrepreneur and starting my business. And so I think when there's content that is as true to yourself, I think that translates with audiences. Well, that's what I think it, it, it helps to do. And so that's basically what I want to do. I want to start a series where basically I'm just figuring it out along with you. And I don't have a title or anything. I, I think I was like, I think I um did a voice memo on my phone. I was like, just all of my business like this. And I think I said, yeah, and I want a YouTube channel where it says, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I literally don't know what I'm doing um, when becoming an entrepreneur. So we're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm just like, we just gonna figure it out together. And so one of the things that I have done at the start of this year, 2021, I started to really do extensive research. And um, I have done a, a few um, uh, free coaching calls. I did discovery calls, things like that. So I think the basis of this series is to take you on my journey um of the exact products i want to do the services i want to offer as like more on the branding side and just little literally every little thing and i'm actually going to show you my google drive doc that i created to kind of like hold myself accountable and to create a checklist so um i think it's going to be an interesting i'm literally taking you on the process of like every little thing and so let me flip the camera so that you can see my um computer let's get into my curls for a moment but that's not the point of the video but um before i show you the google drive i did want to make a note that one thing about me and hopefully it comes across with this business series is that when i say i'm going to do something i am going to do it it's going to take i'm going to be on my own time my own pace but it's going to happen because i have authority over the things that i want to happen in my life and so i definitely want to make a note that when um when starting a business of any kind you have to be sure yourself you have to be sure of your goals and and ways to actually make it happen and so as you'll see in just the google drive you'll see that i'm already trying to think of head think ahead and not just in the moment and i have asked a lot of advisors and peers of mine um their experiences with being entrepreneurs themselves and one thing from these conversations that i have learned throughout the past few months is that i have to discern the information and advice that i am receiving because that can there can be 20 great answers but at the end of the day this is my business and I have to be confident and sure of what I want um, to go down in my business. And so I think that's a big thing also about entrepreneurship is having discernment and just making sure that you are purpose driven in your decision making and not so focused on the money part. Because one thing about me, like 
I've gotten great feedback on this particular product that I want to launch since like early uh early March of 2020. And I could have just launched it and just see how it goes and of course friends, family or whoever could have supported it, but I'm not sure that I would have had a sustaining business with that at launch if I just went ahead and just jumped in and just doing it. So I think that by me preparing so long and so hard and extensive, I think that I am setting myself up to great success. Because one thing about me, I don't want to launch something in the first two months is a success. And then the rest of the months of the year, I'm struggling to try to make sales or get or drive traffic to my website. So I am being very intentional and so hopefully um you are encouraged to just take your pace and research as much as you can even if it's on one specific thing like on having which website you should have shopify versus wix or squarespace or big cartel spend time researching and that is exactly what i'm doing and i am of course going to uh take you on that journey but uh Enough of that. Let me show you uh, my uh, Google Doc and then I'll come back. Okay, so it's more to this, but I don't want all of y'all to know all my business yet. But so far with my business goals, I definitely know that I need to write a business plan that extends five years. I definitely want to have a five-year plan um, for banking. I am researching banks for a business checking line and their and what they offer for like business credit cards and already i've researched that chase bank has a two thousand dollar daily minimum balance as one of the requirements you have to meet you know before you don't get charged like um monthly for using the account but and then bank of america has a 5k daily min minimum Obviously, I'm already leaning towards Chase, but I also want to see what Capital One is looking like for small businesses. So I know that I need an accountant for like my LLC filing and just advice. This whole section of actually my LLC, I have more into it of like my reasoning behind certain things. And I guess I'll definitely go into detail once I get my thing, you know, once I get myself together, because I definitely don't want to like blindly tell you things that I'm still in the blind of and so another thing is like I'm a part of this financial class that happens every Saturday and um one of the things that can help my income remain afloat and I get more funds is if I have passive income um a part of my active income and so like affiliate programs, blogging, YouTube, which I need to really be more consistent in. So that's why I think this business series is not going to hold, not only going to hold myself accountable, but also help um, grow my YouTube. Insurance, health, personal insurance, dental. I need to look into different packages for that because there's a difference between your business insurance and then your personal insurance. And also with the banking it's important for me, I feel, to go ahead and separate my business funds and personal funds because I just don't want to be caught up with, like, taxes and our, the IRS and all that. And then, like, below, I have more sections, but but you could kind of peep, like, I'm already thinking of, like, packaging and shipping. Like, when I think about the website, um, posting site I want to use, I need to think about... Um, when I have to ship my products out and getting poly mailers for packaging and a uh, printing machine and, you know, Avery printing is what I use for my, um, labels for my products and things like that. So, so far, this is where I'm at. And I just literally created a business folder in Google drive so I can start holding myself accountable. Okay. So from that clip, um that's kind of like an overview of where i've been at so far just making sure everything is lining up these are um these are not prescriptive glasses these are anti-blue light glasses from amazon by the way but it's too much of a glare but anyways that was basically an overview in my google drive of my goals and my plans and so I definitely want to use this series to hold myself accountable but also create a sense of community because 
I am new to being a business owner. And so if you wish somebody told you the mistakes that you made early on, I would greatly appreciate you sharing what you've learned in your entrepreneurship and um, just really create that sense of community online. So yeah, so just please like, comment, and subscribe. And just by me um, uploading this video, I'm already holding myself accountable because I need to continue on and be more consistent with YouTube. And I feel like this business series of I don't know what I'm doing because I literally don't know what I'm doing, but I am asking the questions and I am seeking peers uh, and advisors who are already who are already uh, established um, business people to help me um, along the way. And so when I learn something new, I'm going to share it with you and I hopefully it's vice versa that if you have things um, that you share with me. So yeah, it's definitely, um, I don't want to make this a super long video, but once I really start making some progress, then I will update you. So until next time, Peace.